<laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed that last video. I know, jokes are fun. and But seriously, it was a fun little Matoran build. I like it. Anyway, so, <clears throat> speaking of fun little builds, we do want to talk about... Oh, uh, a set that came out, a small, tiny little build that came out in 2005. Some people say that's the first bad year of Bionicle. I disagree. Also, fuck you, because it was different. It was different. It was interesting. A little dark. A little fun. I, I, just, I just like 2005. I like all years of Bionicle. Well, G2 kind of, you know, was meh. But... In terms of sets, hey, the G2 sets were great for the most part. There were obviously a few outliers. Anyway, point is, 2005 had these small little $5 sets. I think they were like $5, maybe 6 I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I don't care. They're called the Rahaga. Why? Let's look at the story. So, they were originally... Uh, uh, you know, Norek, Iruni, Gaki, Bumonga, Kulis, and Pooks. They were originally uh, Toa, Toa Haga. They had shields with shot Rotoka spears. They had giant spears. And yes, uh, while we only got two of them, Norek and Iruni, we didn't get the other four. But thanks to mocks or mockists and canonization contests okay we got basically canonized, canonized versions of or representations of the four uh toahaga we didn't get in the story the toahaga were mutated unfortunately i think by rudaka or was it someone else who mutated them i don't know Point is, they got mutated, shrunken down, still got the Mask of Light, um, but they turned, they were shrunken down, mutated into these things called Rahaga, Rakshi headed little freaks. And they had Rotoka spinners on their backs, well, launchers on their backs, where you could put a ripcord right through them, stick the uh, Rotoka spinner on, zoom, and it goes. That's always fun. Good luck finding that Rotuka spinner. It's going to get lost on the top of your fucking house. <laughs> uh, that always happens. Um, well, not for me. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes I just lose the Rotuka spinner to, I don't know, it just, it just gets destroyed or whatever. Rotuka spinners are fun. Anyway, so the, the Rahaga had... Minimal articulation. They still had the uh, the Metrotoran, you know, limbs. Okay, for arms and legs. Borak feet for feet. All right. Hands, which were in black for whatever reason. Um, makes sense with Bumanga, but for the rest of them, why? The rest of them had, co had colored uh, Mata hand or, um, you know, hand pieces for their shoulders and for their thighs, you know? Um, they had, you know, these half, um, these orange, like, Technic half pieces for light piping. Didn't always work in their Rakshi heads, and they had solid colors as compared to the Rakshi. So you could kind of say that the Rahaga were sort of the essence of the Rakshi in a way. I don't really agree with that, but... They definitely kept the Rakshi head design, at least, and the tools around longer. And it was a fun time. Not much articulation. The heads moved side to side. That's what I think about that. Um, but it's not a bad thing, honestly. The Rahaga were basically, you know, just these, I guess you could say there were elders. You can say they either were the Turaga of the, um, at that point, because, you know, they had a, in the movie, they had a similar design to the Turaga, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but 
at least torso wise leg wise I don't think so and obviously you know Rotuka spinner head feet staff different hands were different too the stabs were all Rakshi stabs well just just one piece per Rahaga I had all six of them at one point then they all died because broken joints and why not rebuilt two of them at one point I think I was I think it was Bumanga and Kulis <sighs> tried to rebuild Gaki at one point had to take her right apart again because fortunately I didn't have any more of the feet in Metro uh, Metro Blue sorry <sighs> as for Kulis and Bumanga they're dead they're gone they're resting in pieces I'm gonna try to rebuild at least one of them we'll see but as far as I remember these Rahaga were small they could fit in the palm of your hand and they come up to like like that I'd say maybe if, if that at all these were not bad sets they were cheap little you know I guess desk toy sort of sets you could sit along your desk watching you as you type and have fun you know they're fun uh, Rotuka with the Rotuka spinners now obviously they came in multiple colors uh, with Pooks you had a brown one Metro Brown with Coolis you had a white one with Bumanga unfortunately you know he originally had a gray one but then it got quickly switched to a silver one which Gaki had a silver one what the fuck Iruni had a gold one okay <laughs> well, okay <laughs> and uh, Norak had a uh, Metro Red one so okay so the Rotuka spinner colors were inconsistent okay sure whatever um, but it was still fun you know just holding the Rotu holding the uh, Rahaga by their ankles and pulling the ripcord and watching it fly until it got lost or eaten by a dog or whatever uh the Rahaga were a great part of the Bionicle story. They were definitely an interesting little twist in the story, you know, kind of the, uh, um, I don't know, man. I just, I just liked the, the story behind the Rahaga. I thought it was a nice little, um, precursor to other events, you know? Um, I only had one of the two Toa Haga. I had Toa Iruni at one point. He's dead, unfortunately. And I don't have any other Haga right now. Sad, but true. No, not the Metallica song. The Rahaga were great sets. At the time. Nowadays, you look back and think, well, they could have been better. You could have put a uh, Hordika neck in place of that uh, black... Um, a technic piece in the blue pin and replace the um, the the technic bits in the head with a uh, a uh, translucent red handpiece and there you go full articulation in the head didn't happen at the time I didn't really complain about it I thought it was it was acceptable to me it was fine you know but nowadays I'm thinking well it could have been better, but hey, that's our job as, uh, you know, fans, as mockists to improve designs on um, these uh, characters that came out so long ago. The Rahaga, I liked. I liked the Rahaga. I did not love them, obviously. They were, uh, they had their problems, sure, but I can easily overlook them for how small and how cheap they were. On eBay, you could probably find one uh, for at least $10, maybe more. Or you could get the whole lot, hopefully complete, without the box, obviously, because fuck it. And without the instructions, because, again, fuck it. They're easy to build, come on. You can find probably the whole lot on eBay for, at most, given how small the sets are and how, you know, um... Probably around thirty to forty dollar. 
dollars i guess i don't know for sure i could go online and check right now on ebay but i don't want to but i'm just i'm just guesstimating okay so based on what i've seen on ebay for uh, lots of um you know full like for for example a full you know collection of all six toamata you can get all six toamata let's just use this as an example for as low as sixty dollars complete is that an actual listing i don't know probably not with the rahaga you're lucky if you can get them for for thirty dollars in one lot complete but i don't know pricing is stupid scalping is stupid and uh, it just doesn't make sense to me <laughs> so but i like the rahaga i always you know when i collected them and i was playing with the road hookah spinners i was posing them in different poses making them at least somewhat dynamic to the best of my ability i had a lot of fun i had a lot of fun playing with the sets building them playing with them enjoying them when i rebuilt boomanga and coolis because i had the parts still i was uh feeling nostalgic and keep in mind this was like 11 years ago maybe less than that um but i was feeling nostalgic after seeing the final product rebuilt in my hand hands because i had two of them so human anatomy works in that way i don't know but i had two rahaga rebuilt couldn't finish gaki because i was missing the feet and it sucks, but hey, what, did, what could I do? Go on BrickLink and order them? Didn't feel like it. But I was feeling nostalgia at the time, you know, the, however long it was ago, a decade or whatever. Just, you know, looking at Coolis and Bumanga and just enjoying the fact that I had these again. I still had them, because I still had the parts. Disassembled, but hey, they were there. So uh, when I rebuilt them, I enjoyed. I was, I, they brought a smile to my face, the Rahaka, because they were small, cute little micro builds, kind of like this little guy. This little promo dude from the last video. This is a small, cute little micro build, and that's what the Rahaga were. Small, cute, little um, micro builds. That's enjoyable to me. It's it's a thing that can put a smile on my face. If it doesn't put a smile on your face, what's wrong with you? Seriously. You're fucked. The Rahaga were cool at the time. And you know what? They still hold up. Even um, 19 years later. For me, they still hold up. I like the Rahaga. I definitely am, well, I was definitely concerned over um, the uh, lack of articulation in the neck besides going But I knew that it was easily fixable. I just didn't want to fix it because I, I, I liked uh, the set as it was. Another thing was the uh, the five long uh, axle rod in in gray for all six of the Traga. Why did they choose gray? Why didn't they choose black? Like with the um, the six long rod, which went through their entire body. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh well, I guess you know because the gray was. Uh, it was it was introduced for the five long and the three long axles in 2003 with the Borak Howl. So they continued with that uh, color because color locking is just ridiculous sometimes. 
but hey the uh, the Rahaga for the most part even in retrospect were decent and to you know fun sets I enjoyed every single one of them even though they were clone sets but there was one of each you know there wasn't in you, you couldn't uh, have a massable army of these things there was no point there was only six to a Haga in the story at least okay well. <laughs> set wise there's na now there's two or now there's six to a Haga to back then we had only two and you could actually get both in a special edition pack I didn't get that back, so. The Rahaga were great for the most part. I liked them, and I think you should too. Overlook their flaws, play with them for a little while, and come back to this video and type in the comment section below what your thoughts on the Rahaga are. Because I'm legit curious. Because. I don't think there's any reason why people should dislike the Rahaga. They weren't necessarily rehashes of anything we've seen before. Well, maybe the uh, the arms and legs and feet, but other than that, the hell. This 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 was a design that after the entire Rahaga design, after what 19 years now, it's still a design. That for me stands the test of time even as parts you know 19 year 19 years later break but that's plastic for you you know at the end of the day it is what it is what it is is what it is so if you like the Rahaga awesome I respect you if you don't like the Rahaga what's wrong with you <laughs> I mean I get personal preference that's basically what it all adds up to at the end of the fucking day but you know sometimes you just gotta um, how can I say this you just gotta look past all the flaws and you know reflect on your childhood lament on your childhood and you know accept the Rahaga for what they were what were they? Cute, fun, little desk toys, for the most part. Micro builds are cute, adorable, fun, little desk toys. They bring a smile to my face, like the smile you're seeing now. I will be definitely getting the Rahaga again. Whether I rebuild two of them, or just one. Or recollecting them off of eBay or whatnot. I will definitely get Toa Iruni again, and maybe even Toa Norik. There's a bootleg of Toa Norik that exists, thanks to Oso on um, YouTube. He did a video on that bootleg, as well as another bootleg. I can't remember. Was it a Pharaoh and Skirmix variant? I don't know. But, hey. The Metro era in general was fun. The prequel saga for Bionicle G1 in general was pretty awesome. I liked it. And with that being said, the next, uh, well, prequel saga video we'll be talking about in terms of G1 is going to be the Toa Hordika. And I have two Toa Hordikas, so <laughs> uh, this will be so much fun. Making these videos just puts a smile on my face with a shitting grin. Fuckers.